there, my name is Patricia. I am a insurance broker. In this video, I'm going to show you how Obamacare can be a great option. In this video, we're going to focus on low income families and low income individuals. So if you wanna know how all of that works, keep watching this video. First, let's talk about what is Obamacare. Obamacare is the Affordable Care Act, also known as the Marketplace Health Insurance. So basically, Obamacare was put in place to help individuals pay for health insurance. There are 10 essential benefits that must be put in place within that insurance plan to be classified as Obamacare. So what are those 10 essential benefits? I wrote them down so that way I do not forget not one benefit. So the first essential healthcare benefits that must be included to be classified as Obamacare is your chronic disease management, preventative care, and wellness services. So your chronic disease management would be like managing your high blood pressure, managing your diabetes. Preventative services would be things like going to get screenings done, mammograms, checking for colon cancer, and things like that. This is one of the things that I would say is the most important benefit of the 10 essential health care benefits, okay? Another thing would be outpatient care, such as going to see your doctor or going to get outpatient care at a surgical center. So outpatient care, ER services, so going to the emergency room, hospitalization, so inpatient hospital care, laboratory services, which would be like getting your blood work done, also prescription drugs, so getting your medications, mental health and substance abuse treatment as well. Also rehab services such as physical therapy, speech therapy, occupational therapy. These are some great essential benefits, right? Also pregnancy and newborn care as well. And the last essential benefits will be pediatric services, so services for your children, and for your children that will include dental and vision. So those are the 10 healthcare essential benefits that must be included to be classified as Obamacare. There are two key things that you need to take note when it comes to Obamacare. Number one is that you don't have to answer any healthcare questions. So no questions regarding your health whatsoever. So Obamacare allows pre-existing conditions. So you can have high blood pressure, diabetes, cancer, it does not matter. You would not be denied due to your health, okay? So that's number one, pre-existing conditions are allowed. The second thing that you wanna take note when it comes to Obamacare is the low income subsidies. So what does that mean? With Obamacare, it comes with low income subsidies, meaning that the government will help pay for your cost if you qualify for the low income subsidy. So basically what that does, it lowers your out of pocket costs, not with just the monthly premium, but it can also help you lower your co-payments, your co-insurance and your deductibles as well, lowering your overall out-of-pocket cost for your health coverage, and I will show you how that works later on in this video. Now let's talk about open enrollment period. So open enrollment period is when individuals can go ahead and get on the marketplace and apply for their health coverage for the following year. So every year between November 1st to December 15th, you can apply for health insurance and your health insurance coverage will start January the 1st. Now, if you enroll between December the 16th to January the 15th, then your plan will start February the 1st. Now let's talk about a life-changing event. During a life-changing event, you can enroll in a Obamacare plan, you have about 60 days to enroll in the plan, okay? 
So what are the life-changing events? You have losing health coverage. So say you lost your job, you lost your health insurance. Well, you have the opportunity to go ahead and enroll in a Obamacare plan. Also, if you recently got married, you can also enroll in a Obamacare plan as well. If you change your primary place of living, if you were released from detention or jail, you can also enroll in a Obamacare plan as well. You can also enroll in a Obamacare plan if you adopted, was placed on adoption, or placed in foster care. You can enroll in Obamacare. Also, there is a special enrollment period going on right now for low-income individuals all through the year. So if you are a low-income individual, you can also enroll in Obamacare plan. This is a special reason and right now it's said to last until 2025. Okay, so those are the special reasons why you can enroll in Obamacare besides open enrollment period. In order to apply for Obamacare, you do have to earn income, okay? Taxable income. And what you want to do, you want to estimate your income for the year you want to have insurance. So if you want to have insurance in 2023, you're going to estimate what is your income in 2023 before taxes, okay? And also please report if your income do change, okay? So say you get a subsidy because you're very low income and say your income doubles, you definitely want to update your application so that way you don't have to worry about paying that subsidy back, okay? So if your income changes, definitely make the necessary changes to your application, okay? All right, guys, so now I'm going to go ahead and do a quote on a low-income individual, and I'm also going to show you how the low-income subsidy works when you use it properly, okay? It's going to help you save hundreds and hundreds of dollars if you do qualify for the low income subsidy, okay? So let me go ahead and share my screen. I also want to let you know that I'm going to leave the link of my quoting tool. I'm going to leave the link if you would like to enroll yourself. If you feel like you don't understand, it's okay. I will help you do the application. Just give me a call and I will do the application for you. So anyways, let's get started. This is my quoting tool. So let's go ahead and put in the zip code for this individual. And we're going to say she is a 32 year old female. So it's already on female household income of one. So she's single. And we're going to say she makes $14,000 per year. So she gets a savings of $454 per month, and she also gets the cost sharing reduction, and this means it lowers the out-of-pocket expense for deductibles, co-payments, and co-insurance only for the silver plans. So it's very important that we take note that the extra savings is only going to go work towards the silver plans only okay let me show you what this looked like if she did not uh, qualify for the silver plans um cost sharing reduction okay let's look at a silver plan so we're going to go here we're going to click on silver okay and you see this plan here let's look at this plan zero dollars per month so i'm going to raise her income where she does not qualify for the silver plan. Let's say she makes 40,000 a year. Okay, so she don't qualify for the silver plans, but she still get a savings of $261, okay? So that same silver plan is now $191 per month when it was only $0, plus she had a zero deductible. You see what the cost sharing does, it really reduces everything. It reduces the monthly premium, your deductibles, your um, co-payments, your co-insurance, 
it reduces your out-of-pocket costs, okay? So, but let's say this individual um, didn't make 40000 She could still get this plan, $191. Her deductible is a lot higher. Let's look at the expanded bronze here. So there are some expanded bronze for $95 per month, but we're going to go ahead and get her income back to what it really is, which is $14,000 a year. Like I said, savings of $454 with the cost sharing reduction. Okay, so let's go back to the plan. So we're here at Oscar and we're looking at an expanded bronze, $0 per month, zero deductible, max out of pocket is $9,100. So we want this lower because we do qualify for the cost sharing reduction. And like we said, it only applies to the silver plan. So let's go ahead and go to the silver plan. So we're gonna come over here where it says metal levels and we're going to click on silver, okay? So we click on silver. And now we have the plans that we do qualify for and everything is lower, such as our deductible is now zero. Our monthly premium is zero. Our max out of pocket here is $1,700. Our doctor business is no charge. Our specialist is $10. Our generic drugs is no charge. Let's look at some other plans. So we have this plan right here at $0 per month. Our deductible is $550 and it is no charge after we meet our deductible. Our max out of pocket is also $550. This plan is actually a great plan for an individual that does have a high out of pocket expense, such as we're going to use a medication as an example. Say this person is on a very expensive medication. Let's say the medication is going to be $600. This plan would be perfect for her to go ahead and pay for that $600 medication. And after that, everything would be zero. It says it clear here in black and white. No charge after your deductible is met which is a great plan because let's look at the plan details. So like I said, the plan is $0 per month, deductible $550, out-of-pocket max is $550. Once we meet that deductible, everything is no charge. You see that? No charge for primary care visit, no charge for your specialist, no charge for preventative, of course, no charge for generic drugs, specialty drugs, brand name drugs. It does not matter. No charge. This is a great plan. X-rays, no charge. I can go on and on. This plan is no charge once you meet that deductible of $550. This is a great plan. Let me say it one more time. This is a great plan for someone that does have a high Cost, such as maybe they have to get a very expensive um, MRI done or you know something that's very expensive, they're going to have to go ahead and pay for it anyways. This would be a great plan to just get that out the way and everything else is at zero dollars. I like it. So let's go back to the other plan here at zero dollars per month, zero deductible, out of pocket max at $1,700. This is still a great plan if you don't have a high, um, you know, cost that you're expecting to pay, like a high medication or something like that. So you don't have anything like that. This will be a great plan because if nothing happens outside of the norm, then this is really great. Let's look at the plan details. So like I said, the out-of-pocket max is $1,700. So God forbid something did happen end up in the hospital, hospital bill is $20,000. So that means the most you would pay for that $20,000 hospital bill is $1,700. Now there is something called a plan enhancer. This is extra coverage to help pay for your out-of-pocket max after an accident, critical illness, or hospitalization. For this particular 32-year-old female, 
her plan enhancer to cover the $1,700 out of pocket max is only $10 per month. I'm not gonna go into too much detail in this video about the plan enhancer, but I do want you to know that this does exist. You can always contact me if you want to add this. So this is still a great plan. So um, there's no deductible, so we're going to look at the after deductible. There's before deductible, it's met 25% for these um, services, x-rays, imaging, blood work, um, it's 25% and after deductible is met, it is 25% as well. This is still a great plan. Urgent care is only $5. If you need therapy, no charge, but the emergency room, ambulance, hospital stay, um, outpatient procedures and things like that is going to be 25% before and after the deductible is met. But once um, you meet that $1,700, like I said, God forbid something really bad happened, the rest of your bill would be paid for after this $1,700 is paid. Okay? Say the doctor did not take M better. Let's look at some other options. So we have this Aetna plan here for only $4.89. This is still a great plan. So let's go ahead and look at silver compared. So let's go ahead and look at a gold plan compared to a silver. Okay, so let's click on gold. We're going to unclick silver. And let's see what we have for gold. So here's the gold plan right here. Monthly premium is zero. Our deductible is $750. Our max out of pocket is $7,500. Doctor business is $35. Specialist is $55. Generic drugs is $13. But our max out of pocket is $7,500. Let's look at the plan details. And let's see here. So after the deductible is met, we're looking at 35%. So I'm definitely going to say the silver plan is definitely a better plan by a long shot, okay? So we're definitely going to go for a silver plan since she does meet the what? Cost sharing reduction. I love it. So yeah, and here are some other options under $30 per month. Here's this plan right here for only $12 per month, really great plan right here. Here's another one, $12 a month with a only $550 deductible, no charge after your deductible is met, okay? Really great. So a lot of plans here under $30 per month. So, okay guys, that is it. I don't want this video to be too long. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So yeah, and that is it. So if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next video. Okay, so that is the end of this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. Give the video a like so other individuals can see this that need to see this. And if you need help with shopping your healthcare plans, give me a call. I'll be more than happy to help. My services are 100% free and I will talk to you soon. Bye.